Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to see how to solve a one dimensional problem in the ANSYS. So, I solve a problem by using numerical calculations of one dimensional problem. So, I got uh, this uh, nodal displacement of 0.8 mm at node 2 and at node 3 I got 1.6 mm nodal displacement and uh, stresses for the element 1 I got 66.66 uh, Newton per mm square and for the element 2 I got 100 Newton per mm square so here may, uh, Young's modulus for the both two material are same and uh, area given here area and length are given here so even uh, you can see here I solve manually in by using numerical calculations. So I got U2, U3 nodal displacement at 2 and 3 and stresses in the element for the 1 and for the element 2. So now in ANSYS open the static structural. Uh, right click on the engineering data go for the edit now select your material 1 so you can see uh, there is a question marks it means there is no any data in this material so in the el linear elastic uh, just click on this isotropic elasticity and drag to the material 1 so in the problem Young's modulus for the both element given as 200 into 10 to the power 3 mega Pascal so change the unit Pascal to mega Pascal and 200 into 10 to the power 3 mega Pascal right so 200 E and 3 enter it. Now in this 1D, I'm, uh, 1D analysis problem we are we get the deformations or displacement in the X direction only. And so there is no any lateral deformation will occur. So even though you can just give the poison ratio as 0 0.3 and enter it. So uh, bulk modulus and shear modulus will be taking by its own ok now cut it right click on the geometry and go for the new design modeler so our design modeler is ready now so now select xy plane and right click on it uh, look at change the units in millimeters go for a sketch and draw a line so press control button and uh, scroll button mm -hmm. and drag it to the left now the length of element 1 that is uh, 2400 mm so go for the dimensions 2400 mm length and now go for the new sketch and again go for the draw select a line draw another horizontal line dimensions and length 2 that is 
Now go for the concept and select line from sketches and select this element one and apply it. Now click on the generate so it will generate and uh, again go for the concept line from the sketches select another element and uh, apply it and here in the operation you can sel uh, select the add frozen add frozen uh, because it will indicate that there is a connection between these two elements right so that's why we need to select this add frozen and generate it now again go for the concept and cross section select rectangle and uh, the area of this element element 1 is 600 mm square so this is the width and height so 30 by 20 so this is the area 30 by 20 or 20 by 30 whatever just give it area now again go for the concept cross section rectangle 2 now area second is 400 mm square so 20 by 20 mm area for the second element now we gave the area but when you click on this line body it will ask to select or assign a cross section so select for the element 1 rectangle 1 and for the line body 2 rectangle 2 now press control button and select line 1 and line 2 body and form a new part now go for the view and select the cross section solids uh, so you can see here it will form in a solid body so now right click on the model and uh, go for the edit so it will take a few seconds to start now you can see here starting mechanical is there so now here our mechanical ANSYS mechanical is open so you can see here this is a line body so click on this cross section solid or if you didn't get this uh, this option then uh, in the quick launch search for cross section solid so now go for the geometry so as for the both the material uh, Young's modulus uh, and uh, Young's modulus will be the same so select on the part and uh, assign the material as a uh, material 1 for the both the both the element element 1 and element 2 for the line body 1 and line body 2 see here we just now assign material 1 and also for the line body 2 assign material 1 so now uh, right click on the mesh go for the generate mesh now element size taken default but we 
we give as a 5 mm and uh, again generate it okay when you select on this thick cell and beams so again you can see here the nodes so this black dots are the nodes of the line body so uh, in the statics you can see the nodes so this nodes and elements are depends upon uh, element size right now right click on this solutions go for the insert and select the beam tool so now before that right click on this static structural and go for the insert and uh, fixed support so we need to give a fixed support so view as a front so this end we given the fixed support and at the another end we need to apply a force so force of 40 kilo newton So now uh, we give the fixed end that is boundary conditions and also apply a load uh, in the x direction axial direction and uh, now right click on the solution and go for the solve so in the beam tools so selecting beam tool because all the one dimensional element or uh, or a line body problems uh, solutions will get in terms of beam tools here we can also add the deformation that is we are showing total or direct so select any one that is total total deformation and right click on that and go for the uh, solve uh, solution so go for the solve and uh, now you can see in the beam tool direct stress minimum and maximum combined stresses so in the direct stresses uh, you got the values so maximum 100 uh, mega pascal and the minimum we got 66.66 uh, mega pascal you can see here unit mega pascal and uh, and what we got we got the same value 66.667 minimum and uh, at node 2 we got 100 mega pascal or 100 newton per mm square so now uh, minimum combined stress maximum combined stress and total uh, and total deformation so in total deformation we got so you can see here total deformation at node 3 and at node 2 
or we got the same 0 0.8 and 1.6 CVA maximum uh, deformation that is 1.6 uh, in mm. So and uh, 0 0.8 at the node 2. Now again select on this thick cell and so this will convert it into the line element. This will convert it into line element. In this plate you can see the deformation, how deformation will take place. So I hope you may understood this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe it to get more videos.